so it's Sunday and we just came home from Dean's parents having some lunch to find that a pipe in our garage had burst. The ceiling has fallen down. As you can see, there's sheetrock everywhere. And there's blown in insulation and probably, probably five inches of that in the floor and water everywhere. Thankfully, my homeschool books that are in these boxes are fairly, okay. I need to move this. Are you vlogging this? <laughs> my yes. hubby is fixing. My hubby is fixing this. This is, uh, no, this, we were gonna tear everything out of this room anyway in the next couple months. So this is just a good start. A good start? <laughs> This is a mandatory start right here. That's what this is. Yes, we actually, um, as soon as the fireplace was finished, we were going to move um, to this room because this will eventually be the homeschool room. But yeah, so new ceiling, new lots Mom, of things. Dad, I bet you really it's a mess. Now after the fireplace, you have to keep working. No, man. <laughs> uh, keep making progress. Hey guys, it's Thursday. It's December thirty first, and that means it's New Year's Eve. Now, this week I have not been very consistent with um, daily vlogging because we just wrapped up Vlogmas and that means for the most part I vlogged way more than I normally do. Um, and so I've taken a little bit of a break, um, tried to do things that I enjoy a little bit this week, things that aren't super hectic, also kind of finishing up little things that I need to finish up for the end of the year um, on my blog. Like today I published um, my annual December reflections post where I kind of like reflect back on 2020 and share some things that I've learned and how things have gone as well as what my word for the year is for the coming year. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the link to that blog post in the description below and you guys can read that and check it out. So today there are a couple things that I wanted to share with you. First, um, <laughs> she was like, uh oh, I interrupted your video. <laughs> um, okay. So first, I wanted to give you guys an update on our crazy garage disaster. Um, I, I shot a couple videos earlier this week on the day that we found out what all had happened and I will include those in this week's vlog, which they will have been before you're, re you're watching this. But anyway, um, I wanna give you a little update on that. We had the insurance adjuster, I think that's what you call him, out today to talk about what all they will put on our, I don't know. I don't know, they're gonna write us a big check for all the damage that's done in here. We're gonna redo this. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that. And then I'm going to quickly pot some paper white bulbs that I'm gonna bring inside and try to force those to grow so that I have some blooms probably at the end of February, maybe the beginning of March. My sister-in-law gave me, I think it's called an amaryllis. I'm not sure. I, it's, it's a bulb and it grows these really pretty pinkish red flowers. Typically you plant them and like force the bulb to grow so that you have blooms at Christmas, but I got it as a Christmas gift. So I'm not going to have blooms until March also, like maybe the end of February, March, but that's okay. Um, the crocuses will be blooming outside then. The paper whites that I planted outside in my, um, I think I did a video, a vlog, a weekly vlog about planting fall bulbs. I'll link to it up here. Um, so you can click on that and look at that video if you want to see what all I planted because I planted a ton of bulbs I'm really excited to see them pop up this spring um, Anyway, this is the first time that I have done paper whites inside. So this is not a tutorial This is just me doing it for myself to kind of see how it goes um, The bulb that my sister-in-law got me for Christmas. I have never done one of those before I'm really excited to see it bloom and then try to care for it throughout the year and then see if I can get it going earlier next year so that I do have some flowers in the house all through um, Christmas and the winter season. I'll start my paper whites earlier next year too so that I have lots of flowers in the house. So I'm slowly developing my green thumb. Um, it's been fun. It's kind of interesting to learn how to do all this stuff. But anyway, let me flip the camera around and take you guys inside and show you the mess that is at our garage and tell you about the semi-formed plans that I have for the space now. Okay, so first of all, this is the disaster of a space we have right here. This is a bunch of stuff that was in the garage that Dean pulled out on Sunday when we found out a pipe had burst and was flooding our garage. Or it had been flooding our garage for hours, but we didn't know. And I'll tell you what's going on. So all of this stuff, all of these boards, um, they're like some sawhorse things up here. 
were all laid out in the garage so I could paint trim, a baseboard trim that was going up in our house. And now, and this is some sheetrock that fell from the ceiling. So all of this is out here now. We're gonna have a huge mess for a while as we clean up. Um, you can see the water just flooded down our driveway. Um, there's concrete right over there, like some concrete stuff that a uh, bag was ruined and it went everywhere. And then we've got spray and insulation all through here. Um, Dean brought this heater over to try to dry things up. And so that's why that's plugged up. So you can see there's insulation everywhere on the floor. There, the sheetrock that has fallen from the ceiling. There's just that, that blown in insulation is literally everywhere. Look, it's all the way over here on the wall by this <laughs> fridge. This is an old fridge that we had in our house that actually came with the house. And I just had Dean move it out here to the garage because I keep extra stuff in it. It's been really nice to have it there, but eventually it's gonna be gone too. So this space was a garage. I don't know if the previous people parked in here or not, but they had a lot of storage stuff like up on the walls and things. And there's a little sink that you can wash up in. So what happened is when this house was built in the late 90s, for whatever reason, so they used copper pipes all on the bottom of this house. Um, and now they use a different type of pipe to keep them from, um, I think, freezing and busting. I think it's called PEX or something. Anyway, um, for some reason, they ran a copper pipe way up here in the ceiling area. And it's the pipe that leads to the outdoor water spigot. But it froze because this room is not, I guess, as insulated as well as it should be. And it burst. And it just sprayed the sheetrock all up here in this little kind of like attic space until it was so soaked and so wet and heavy that it broke. So you can see where it broke right there. And actually, sorry, look at this. If I step on this, there's like water still leaking out of this stuff. It's disgusting. So let me move over here. If you can see back behind the garage door, you can see where it even tore the sheetrock like up through here. You can see that it just ripped and pulled. I don't even know. I think some of it fell back there. If I closed the garage door, you'd see a huge chunk of sheetrock missing back there. But anyway, um, it bent our lights, so that light is messed up. This one, I gotta move back over here so you guys can see. Um, anyway, yeah, it's like all bent right there, broken. Um, anyway, the insurance adjuster came out. Or actually, I guess, I guess actually on Sunday night, Dean capped the pipe. We turned all the water off, he capped that pipe to stop the water. Um, and we moved some boxes like i've got a ton of homeschool books out here like all of this is where i was storing some homeschool books that's last year's homeschool books this whole box was soaked on the bottom but i think most of the stuff inside of it was okay i'm not sure about these boxes right here they didn't get wet but with so much moisture in the air and it's winter and things are not drying very well we're not sure what will mold and what won't um we have had this heater running to keep things dry um dean left just now to go buy a dehumidifier we're going to keep this thing dehumidified i guess all weekend um we're trying to hopefully the the uh, insulation that's in the walls is not wet but it just poured water up there poured water so it could have leaked back down and into the walls and so that means we would have to tear out all the sheetrock all the sheetrock all the insulation the whole entire roof part ceiling part is definitely going to have to go we're going to take this door down Obviously the lights are gonna have to be replaced. We're not sure what kind of lights we're gonna replace it with. I would love to replace this garage door. It's really old and just not really a pretty garage door. I'd like to replace it with a wooden one. Um, so anyway, the idea for this space was that it was always going to become a homeschool room, kind of like a study. Like I want it to be a nice looking, finished, livable room. Um, I wanted to have one of those like old English study vibes, lots of bookcases all across the walls here. Um, maybe on this side too, I wanna have our old kitchen table will be out here because this is where, you know, the boys are gonna do some of their schoolwork. That'll, I would like to have um, like a cupboard with art supplies in there and then the boys can get their art supplies out and do that stuff on the table and I don't have to worry about our new kitchen or dining room table becoming um, messed up or anything like that. I would like to have like a cozy little book nook, you know, like maybe a chair and some bookshelves or something like that so people can kind of curl up. Maybe a couch. I'm not really sure yet. This is just kind of like I'm thinking about these things. Um, I would like to remove this big old sink. I don't know if you're going to let me or not, but I really want to remove that sink. And I want to put um, an old 
style, I don't know what they're called. They're like white and cast iron, they're really big. Um, but I would just like to mount a sink over there and like leave it open, the pipes kind of open on the bottom. And there will be plenty of storage in here just with the amount of like shelving and bookshelves and things that we're gonna have because again, it's a study. Our desk and our computers and all of our tablets and electronics and things that need to be charged will have a space out here where they will stay like that little storage space. They're not in the house anywhere, not in bedrooms, none of that stuff. Um, so I'm not really sure how much we're gonna redo. I do know, you know, we'll be painting the walls. Um, this is concrete block right here. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll either stucco the concrete block or Dean's thinking about putting wood over it, like almost kind of like a Wayne's coating kind of thing. I'm not really sure what we'll do. The entire floor will be covered with hardwood floors, just like that it's in our house. The stairs and then this little landing will all be covered with wood. It'll look really nice. We'll put a rail, like a new rail, take the one off the wall and fix that and then put a rail that goes up the steps this way. We're probably gonna, we can't move our water heater. Like it's there. So there's some sort of water softener over there that's been there. It doesn't, it's not hooked up. It doesn't work. That's gotta go. We'll probably maybe box that area in um, and have some little storage space above it because we've always had our water heater boxed in, but this one, you know, was in the garage. So it's just open. We have to be able to access the underneath side of our house right here. So we'll have to do some sort of wall that can be moved if we need to. But yeah, so far my idea is stucco the bottom of the walls, paint the top sheet rock part of the wall, um, get new lighting up here. I would love the new garage door. Like I said, we'll move our old table out here, put lots of bookshelves and cabinets and maybe some chairs and um, maybe a couch. I'm not sure about that. The fridge is gonna go bye-bye. Um, yeah, so it's really, you know, my goal is for it to look like a study, but also be a functional homeschool room where we have all of our homeschool books organized um, and just a place where we can kind of like come do work if we want to. Like I can come out here and work if I want like an office space. Normally I just work wherever I want in the house um, and that's that works for me, but sometimes if I'm writing something and I need it to be nice and quiet, it is really nice to kind of get away because the, the boys, you know, they're everywhere. They're, they're loud and it's kind of hard to focus sometimes. Um, yeah, so actually over here, we've got a lot of work to do too. There's like a big hole that goes up to the attic. So we've got to make a nice little door for that. And oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, this was, this was the next big thing on our project. Actually, it was going to take about two months, I was thinking to get this room kind of revamped the way I wanted it to probably, it would probably have been three or three months or longer knowing us, but now it has become a much big, bigger project. So the insurance adjuster came out today. Again, I think that's what he's called. <laughs> took all the notes, took tons of pictures, measured everything, and we're supposed to have our estimate on Monday. Um, we can also, if we find problems later on, like um, we can have an adjustment made, I believe is what he said. So that's good news because when you have water damage, you just never know what else is gonna happen. Now, this place outside is a mess. I'm telling you, in the winter months, I just let things go, you guys. Like it's too cold to get out here and do anything. The boys do come out and play, they make messes. Like there's a wheelbarrow turned over. I should have that thing put up, but I don't. Um, I just threw all of my empty pots right here instead of taking them back to our little shed because again it's cold and I'm lazy and I don't want to be outside doing stuff that much but today's a pretty nice day so I'm gonna come over here to our table which is super dirty because it's had snow covering it and there's our yule log we're gonna burn that tonight um and I'm gonna plant some paper whites so I like I said in my fall bulbs video um these are one of the bulbs that I bought and I planted some of them in some of the garden spaces and so one of the things that I wanted to do with these is plant them in this container. I bought this at an antique store. It's just an old, um, it's just an old tin. Like I don't, I don't really know what that's actually made of, but it's enamel coated and it's kind of chipped and worn. And so I'm gonna fill it with some dirt, some of this potting soil. I don't have much left over. This is like all of last year's potting soil. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. I'm gonna set as many of these little paper white bulbs inside this as I can and then that's it. I oh, actually think I'm gonna go for a walk in the woods and get some moss and put moss around the bulb. So let me set the camera down and I am gonna show you how I do everything. Okay guys, so like I said, um, this is my first time planting paper whites. I 
do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I did watch a video on YouTube from the channel Garden Answers and it's great. I will actually put a link to that channel right here. If you guys are interested in gardening, she seems to have, I just found it, so I don't know, I haven't watched everything, but she seems to have a ton of information about indoor, outdoor gardening stuff. It's just super inspiring for someone like me who wants to learn and do lots of things and I have this new house and all these places to plant things and make it beautiful and anyway great channel so far from what I've seen you should definitely check that out and um, I am going to I don't have any drainage in the bottom of this pot so I think the first thing that I need to do is maybe I think the bulbs don't like to be really waterlogged so I'm not sure if I should put I should probably put some gravel in the bottom of this first uh, let's see they're already kind of starting to come up see any of the others are doing that yeah they're all kind of doing it so they've gone through their really cold dormant period um and so really what you want is just the bottom of the bulbs to set in the soil you don't want the soil coming like way up over the bulbs um so what i may do is see if i can put some gravel in the bottom of this and then maybe put a little bit of soil and then just kind of like a nestle each of the bulbs down into the soil to help support them so they don't fall over. That happens sometimes when you put gravel. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't have holes. If I had holes, then I would probably just put the soil because it would drain through, but I don't have holes. So I don't want water collecting and sitting on the bottom of this bowl because it'll make it rot. So I want there to be rocks at the bottom so that the water can go through the soil and just kind of sit where the rocks are and not sit on this bulb. So I'm actually gonna pause this. I'm gonna go find some rocks and put them in here. I don't care what kind of rocks they are, as long as my dirt doesn't fall all through them into the bottom. Because I don't have a whole lot of dirt. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've decided to forego this big pot simply because I can't find any rocks and it's so cold I don't wanna dig in the creek <laughs> to get rocks to put in the bottom of this. Plus, I'm thinking since it is my first time planting paper whites, I'm not sure that I want to plant this many right here. Um, so I pulled out, let me set this aside. I pulled out this other container. It has a place for water. If you overfill the water and it leaks out, you can just kind of pour the water out of this little lip here. Um, and it already has some potting soil in that I've used for plants before. I actually grew my um, morning glory plant in here last year. So I'm just gonna kind of break this up Ooh, I'm dropping dirt everywhere. Just kind of loosen this soil. I don't think I need to be too fussy about this soil. It's loose enough for, you know, indoor plants, so it should be totally fine. I want to get any of this root stuff out. Ugh. I'm dropping some dirt in my shoes. <laughs> Let me just kind of pull this root thing out and break the soil up around the top. It's actually still quite loose. Oh, it's so cold. I'm sniffing because it's cold out here. Is it cold where you guys are right now or are you in a warm area? It's so cold here, which is actually, we've had a couple of nice days. It was icy and our snow wouldn't melt all last week, which was nice because we had a white Christmas. That's always good and fun. But <laughs> Charlie, he's getting a little too excited for Uriah. Is he biting on you? Um, but anyway, this week it's warmed up quite a bit, so it's been nice to kind of get outside and get a little bit of stuff done. And plus with our garage disaster, it's not so cold to be out doing some stuff there. Tomorrow, I think the plan is to go through all of our belongings that were damaged, and we have to report all of that so that we can, our insurance will cover those things. Um, actually, Dean just called me and said that the insurance adjuster guy um, calculated the cost of the damages for the room alone, and it was about an eight thousand dollars, seven thousand, eight thousand, and that doesn't include all of our belongings that were in there that were damaged. So I think we're doing pretty good as far as like fixing everything. Okay, so I've loosened up all this soil. I'm not worried about drainage now. So I'm just gonna press these bulbs down into the ground. Oh look, this one has sprouted out like a baby bulb, like a second one. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna set that one aside. Now the bigger the bulb, I think maybe, I'm not sure paper whites are this way, but the more um, like stems come out of them. So, wow, they're already sprouting in my bag. I really have to do something with these. <laughs> Okay, so I have seven in here. Wonder if I should make them closer together and get more in. I think I can get a little bit more. Let me see. Maybe one more right there. Okay, so can you guys see how that looks? Let me get you guys closer there. So that looks nice. There are, let's see, eight, nine, nine bulbs. So I'll clean up the outer edge. I'm gonna pack some moss in there real quick. Let me put this back. I gotta find something to do with the rest of these bulbs. Maybe I'll have to start some more of them. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go grab some moss and pack some moss in around these things. Okay, so I'm back with some moss. You guys can see it's got all kinds of stuff growing out of it, like little seeds. There's leaves in there. There's like different types of moss. This something here, and that's a different kind of something. Anyway, I'm just going to press the moss in around these bulbs, and I think that'll give it a nice natural look, look to it and um, help me to water and help retain some moisture inside of here so they grow better. Plus it just looks pretty. It's Saturday and I want to do a quick update of our fireplace area. As you can see, Dean has put the stove in and all that's left is to pipe it in. Maybe there is a pipe. Maybe he already did that last night. I don't know. Anyway, that's done and this morning I painted the top part above the mantle and then onto the walls and Dean went with Uriah to go by um, wood. So he got a walnut slab for the mantle and then he got extra walnut for the shelves on the wall. There'll be three shelves on each side. So we'll have four large sections on each side. And then I ordered these antique brass L brackets to go under and support each of the shelves. So I'll show you guys those whenever they get here. Um, yeah, so that's one step closer to being completely finished. So I need to scoot in closer because you can't see anything. We've cleaned up a little bit in here. That's a dehumidifier that Dean went to go get the other night. So you can see the floor is still wet and there's still just chunks of sheetrock and insulation everywhere. We cleaned out one side, moved all of our stuff over to that side and then cleaned the other side, moved it all back. Anyway, um, we're trying to take, I guess like trying to document what is ruined and then what we were going to be able to keep but yeah so we haven't even attempted the top that's going to be an even bigger mess but we're just trying to get the floor cleaned up and then we'll have to get all of our boxes out and over to our other shop and then just start deconstructing this place taking everything out anyway um Dean has his dad's dump truck over here today and we're just cleaning all this stuff up and then I guess his dad will take it to the dump so or are you taking it to the dump? I'll let Dad drive, drive his truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of difficult to drive, I guess. Okay, so back to work. 
Hey guys, it's Sunday and we just got back from church. So um, I'm actually just jumping on here to wrap up this week's vlog. Um, as you know, if you've watched my vlogs long, I don't really do a whole lot of videoing on Sundays just because it's kind of crazy day. We're always at Dean's parents' house with his siblings having lunch and just hanging out there. So um, I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make some salad. That's my contribution to today's pitch-in meal. Um, and the boys are running around, they're grabbing like Nerf stuff to take over so they can play with their cousins a little bit. Um, yeah, so this week has been kind of a crazy week. I feel like it's one of those weird things where you're sort of in between, in between Christmas, in between New Year. The house I feel like has been kind of a wreck because the kids are still playing with their toys and um, I just haven't really worried about it too much. Um, so this next week I will be working on Kind of putting things where they go getting the house back in order i do have to take down my christmas decor at some point next week so anyway i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog i hope you enjoyed it um if you have any questions or comments don't hesitate to um, leave a comment below and i will get back to you there or you can connect with me over on instagram at growing up herbal on instagram um because i'm pretty active there um you can check out my blog. I probably have a good bit of answers to questions over there as well. Um, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You give this video a like and hit the bell to turn on notifications if you wanna be notified of upcoming vlogs or other types of videos that I do about herbalism or natural living, things like that. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys are having a great Sunday and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.